Hello guys, so in this video I want to do this Olympiad problem where we need to find the least positive integer n such that if you're going to take a set of positive distinct integers s1 up to sn then the following product where we have 1 minus 1 over s1 etc is going to be equal to 51 over uh, 2100 so if we want to approach this kind of a problem, problems what do we need to do? we need to take this statement as a problem and try to extract some information from that and the first what I can observe is that we have distinct positive integers so that is going to be my first observation that I'm going to take my integers s1 up to sn and organize in a sequence where they're all going to be distinct and they're going to have an increasing order uh, and this is going to be my first observation my second observation I can take my first element s1 and I can analyze that element. So what I can say about S1, that S1 for sure is not equal uh, to one. Because if S1 is going to be equal to one, then uh, the following uh, expression, one over uh, minus, one minus one over S1 is going to be equal to zero in this case. So the whole product is going to be equal to zero. So that is not possible. And then, using this information, I can take uh, the sequence of my inequalities and I can for sure say that my S1 is going to be bigger or equal than 2. But then, you can see that S1 and S2, they're going to have a strictly inequality sign. And one of the like, common tricks that we can do like in math, if you have the strictly inequality sign, and since all of these S are integers, then what is going to happen if I'm going to subtract 1 from S2. Then the worst case scenario, then uh, S2 minus 1 is going to become equal to S1. Uh, like other scenario that we're still going to have um, strictly inequality sign. So you can see that overall like these two scenarios are going to cover all cases. So by subtracting 1 from S2, we're going to change our strictly uh, bigger equal to, sorry, strictly inequality sign to lesser or equal to. And then the same trick we're going to repeat here. So we know that S2 is going to be strictly smaller than S3. So I'm going to have S3 minus 1. Uh, but again, like if I'm going to subtract 1 from S3, so I'm going to have minus 2. I'm going to have a bigger or equal to sign. And then I'm going to do this for all Sns. And my last term of Sn is going to be Sn minus n minus 1. And then you can see that for every term over here, if I want to express kind of this term as a psi, I'm going to have that si is going to be bigger or equal to, I'm going to move this n uh, minus 1 to the left, 2 plus n minus 1. Uh, sorry, uh, for si, uh, you can see if, if we have sn, then this term is going to be n minus 1. So I need to change this n to i. And from here we'll observe that our si must be uh, bigger or equal to uh, i plus 1. Okay, and this is something already, because we can take this inequality right now and plug in inside our product over here, and let's see what we're going to get. I'm going to have 51 over 2100 is equal to 1 minus 1 over s1 times uh, that times 1 minus uh, 1 over Sn. And over here what I'm going to have, so first I can take reciprocal of these numbers. I'm going to have uh, 1 over S1, Si is less or equal to 1 over i plus 1. Then I'm going to multiply this by negative sign. And if I'm going to multiply by negative sign, I'm going to change my inequality direction and add minus to both of the fractions. And if I'm going to add 1, I'm going to have that 1 minus 1 over si is bigger or equal to uh, 1 minus uh, i plus 1. So from there I will obtain that this product is going to be bigger or equal to then 1 minus 1 over 2 times 1 minus 1 over 3 times uh, that times 1 uh, minus 1 over um, n plus 1. And then if I'm going to uh, do a simple algebraic manipulation by finding the common denominator, then you can observe that this, for example, I'm going to have 2 over 2 minus 1 half is going to be just 1 half. 
So I'm going to turn one, so I'm going to have one half. And the same here, I'm going to have one minus one over three is three over three minus one over three, which is going to be equal to two over three. So I'm going to have two over three times that of that times, don't forget that is equal sign, times n times n plus one. And from here, we will observe that two and two will get canceled, three and three got canceled. So this n is also going to get canceled. And then I'm going to obtain just one over n plus one. So from here, I will obtain that 51 over 2100 uh, is bigger or equal to um, one over n plus one. One observation we can do that 51 over 2100 is actually going to be equal to uh, 17 over uh, 670. So then from there I will obtain that n plus 1 if I'm going to multiply uh, this inequality by n plus 1 and uh, by 2100 over 51, I will obtain n plus 1 is going to be bigger or equal to than 7, uh, uh, 670 over 70. And if I'm going to compute this number, then this number, like the closest integer, which is going to be, is going to be 39. So uh, if I'm going to take this inequality and just subtract one from both sides, I will obtain that n is strictly bigger than 38. And from here, I can see that the closest possible integer for which this statement can be true is going to be uh, when n is equal to 39. So we found our candidate uh, for which we can find the set of positive distinct integers such that this product is equal to 51 over 2100. But right now we actually need to take uh, and uh, establish what is going to be my S1 and S7 in this case. So I'm going to erase this argument over here. And let's, so for finding those numbers, unfortunately we don't have any intuitive like approach. So let me show you one of the idea. So the idea is the following. I'm going to take my uh, numbers, 17 over 670, which is like 51 over 2100. So I can write it down. I'm going to have 51 over 2100. And what I'm going to do, uh, you, either if you have time, you need to play around, trying to get and get to the uh, S1 and R2SN. But I'm going to show you uh, one other approach. So here, I'm going to first split my 60, uh, 670 as uh, 67 times 10. So I'm going to have this one over 10. Then I'm going to multiply uh, top and the bottom by two. So I'm going to get, uh, this is going to be my 34. And this is going to be times uh, 20. And then I'm going to rewrite this as 66 over 67. So I need to divide uh, by 66, but I'm going to split 66 as um, 34 over 40 times one over 33. So you can see that if I'm going to multiply top and the bottom by two, I will get two over uh, 40. And then if I'm going to multiply top and the bottom by 33, I will go and get 66 over here. And then I'm going to have 33 and 40. So yeah, I have all these numbers over here. And then it's like super non-intuitional, but unfortunately it's the only like possible approach that I know. And from here, you can see I have one over 33. And here I had like one over uh, n plus one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that and write as one times two times two times three times that, that times 32 over 33. So basically I kind of reverse this step back. The next I have 34 over 40. So I'm going to write this as 34 over 35 times uh, 35 over 36 times that, that times 34, uh, sorry, 39 over 40. And finally, the last term is going to be 66 over 67. Then I'm going to take each of this term and expand the form 1 minus 1, uh, 1 half times 1 minus 1 over 3 times da 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 times 1 over 1, uh, uh, 35. And here I'm going to have, um, sorry, over 33. 33. And then next I will start with 35. I'm going to have 1 minus 1 over 35 times da 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 times 1 uh, minus 1 over 40. And the last term is going to be 1 minus 1 over 67. Okay, cool. So 
what is the idea? We start with our right hand side over here. We did some manipulation with numbers, and we ended up with this expression over here. So the only thing which we need to do, we just need to count that we indeed have 39 numbers uh, that we written uh, that will be used in this product. But if I'm going to count between these two numbers, then here I'm going to have 32 numbers. Then if I'm going to count these numbers, I'm going to have um, six numbers. And the last number is going to be just one. So 32 plus 36 is going to be 38. And 38 plus 1 is going to be 39. So I'm going to have plus, plus, and I'm going to get 39. So then our answer is going to be the set that works for this case are going to be exactly numbers 2, 3, up to 33, 35, up to 40, and 67. And we are done. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this problem. Let me know if you have any questions, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, and bye.